I will praise the Lord with every breath that I take. I will praise you, Lord. This promise I make, even eternity end, and start all over again. Even then, I will praise the Lord. What about you? The psalmist says he will praise the Lord in the morning, in the night, in the afternoon, in the evening, at all times. Many of us today, we always wait until something good come our way. Maybe a new car, a new job, a new home, a new wife, a new child, before we start praising the Lord. No, that should not be the case. We must praise the Lord at all times. Because he is our God. Because he is our creator. This is the meaning of God searching for a true worshiper. I hope he find one in you. I hope he find one in me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome you to this segment once again. Thank you for coming my way. I, I pray that God will lead us into his word. And our eyes of understanding will be open in the name of Jesus Christ. I encourage you to share this video. I encourage you to subscribe with this channel. And the Lord will bless you richly in Jesus' name. Without much ado, I quickly want to go into what the Lord has laid in my heart. I was reading the, the, the book of Isaiah the other time. Isaiah chapter 60, it, it's uh, a very known passage. It says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. There is an announcement to you and I that the glory of the Lord is risen, that our light has come. It's an announcement, but we don't know. And that is why we are being encouraged to arise. Yes, because if we don't arise, we will not see what God has done for us. I see that the word arise is a call to action, meaning that there is a time come in our life that we need to initiate that action. Nobody will do it for us. That it is not all unto God and it is not all unto us. It takes God's ability and our own willingness in order to get to where God has uh, apportioned for us. So God has done it in, in Isaiah 61, but we need to arise and enter into that that God has called us into. Something happened to David in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 30. Uh, it happened that, you know, David was a warrior. So he and his men, they went on to battle. But before they came back, the enemy, the enemy had come and they had plundered his home carrying out carrying away his property and his the women and the children so by the time these warrior ca warriors came they were not happy the bible says that david and his men when they saw the condition that they met the bible said they wept they wept they lifted up their voices i'm reading first samuel 30 verse 4 then david and the people that were with him lifted up their voices and they wept until they had no more power to weep. The same thing could have happened to any of us. If anything happened, we start bl you know, blaming games. We start playing bl blaming games. We, blame our, we, we don't usually blame ourselves. We blame people around us. We blame God. We even blame God. We say, God, why don't you preserve it? Why don't you protect this? Why don't you? So David also and his men, they started crying. And some of his men were not happy to the extent that they were even thinking of stoning him. 
because they thought he was the one who brought them to that that uh, level of shame but something happened the bible says david stepped ahead of them he arise he arise in his mind in his thinking he arise in his mind he said no even if i cry from now to uh, to eternity crying will not change anything i don't know what you are crying over today crying will not change anything instead it will, it will even complicate issue it can complicate your health it can complicate your relationship if you become depressed because david and his men they were depressed there but in verse in verse 6 the bible says david encouraged himself in the lord is god how will you encourage yourself it is what you have in your mind or what you have in you that can bring encouragement not what you don't have it is said that you cannot give what you don't have but if you have been studying the word of god if you have been putting the word of god in your subconscious when things happen we know the first reaction can just say oh why but not in not too long you start r ruminating you start you know the word of god will start coming on to surface of your of your mind of your you know of your heart and you start remembering the word of god john chapter 14 verse 1 says do not let your heart be troubled so when you remember this and when this word come up, you 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 forget crying, you forget uh, the situation. You know that God is able to turn things around. So this is what uh, the Word of God is calling us to do. The Word of God say, arise. Before you come to the point of arising, I believe you are in certain position. You know, maybe you are sitting down, sitting down is sit sitting down is a place of rest the way i'm sitting now or maybe you are lying down you are lying down it is also a place of rest and someone wake you up that arise arise it means that you you, you get hold of your body you get hold of your mind you get your 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 thinking together and said and started planning I started putting things in place. This is what the Bible is telling us today. That we need to arise. We do not need to sit and dwell over what we cannot change. We need to arise to see what God has also done for us. There are a lot of uh, references that pointed to the word arise in the scripture. And this I will quickly... Uh, quickly go through before uh, before we round up. I want to read something from the gen from the book of Genesis chapter thirteen and verse seventeen. Arise, walk in the land through its length and its breadth, for I give it to you. This in this passage, God was talking to Abraham. You see now. God has given Abraham the land, but Abraham do not know. So God is coming to him here and said, Arise, go into your possession. Arise, enter into your possession. You, before you enter into your po 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 um, pro um, possession, you need to take certain initiative. Hallelujah. That is exactly what I'm saying today. You need to take certain initiative. Also in the book of Genesis chapter 19 verse 15, angels that came to help Lot, they, they entreated him to take action. The angel had already gotten to the land of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham had already talked to God concerning the people in Sodom and Gomorrah. And God has already taken his decision that when he finds so, so, so number, he will not destroy the land. 
But when they got there, the number did not added up. But Lot was there. And mercy was shown to Lot. So, yes, mercy was shown to Lot. And uh, action was about to be taken against Sodom and Gomorrah. But Lot needs to move out of Sodom and Gomorrah. That was the reason why the angel was telling Lot, Arise. Do not, don't just sit down here. You need to arise. You need to arise and take proactive action by leaving this place. If you stay here, disaster will meet you. But if you, if you arise and go, so also the father of Jacob told him, Arise, go to your, your mother's brother, Laban's house. If Jacob had remained with his parents, his brother would have just killed him out of jealousy, out of revenge. So I don't know the situation where you are today. The Spirit of God, the Word of God is encouraging us to take further action. Don't just sit and be, and be looking. Don't just sit and be watching and just, you know, just stay in the status quo. No, you need to, you need to, you, you need to arise. You need to take certain action. Amen. You need to take certain action. Anyway, I don't want this video to be more than 10 minutes so that it can be easy for us. Possibly we will continue in this, uh, this study arise because there are a lot of places in the Bible. Even God also was also prayed to and asked to arise. It's like, uh, not that God, you know, forgot us, not that God is sleeping because the bible say that watches over us never sleep never slumber but situation come in your life and you just say god it has been too long arise and help me you know we, we are asking god also to take proactive uh, action on the situation we are going through and i don't know if you have not met the lord or if you have not known the lord this message can also be for you. If you have come into, into relationship with him. Hallelujah. But if you are not in relationship with God, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus Christ for you to give your life genuinely to God so that you too, you can be studying the word of God and, and start receiving download of revelation from god thank you father for this time we bless you we bless you for your word and we pray that your word will have meaning in our lives in jesus name thank you i greet you all in jesus name